Okay, this week I've got four exercises for you to work on. If you've got symptoms of plantar fasciitis or fasciotomy, where you've got pain and weakness in the arch of your foot, usually it's the back around your heel, and you've been through the process, you've got the good shoes for running, maybe you've even got orthotics in there, but you've still got the weakness stuff, you've got to fix that. So I've got four exercises to go through, and they're essential if you want to get your plantar fasciitis problem better. First thing I want you to do is an arch race. Now these are hard because it involves a little bit of coordination. I like using a step for the second one, but I'll show you this one for the first one. You're going to work on trying to raise the arch up with just your foot, okay? What I mean is, you're not gonna roll your ankle to raise your arch up, okay? You've gotta use the muscles in your foot. Now this is quite hard, because usually if you've got this problem, those muscles are weak, so you're gonna find that's really hard. The other thing that's really hard is if you've got a very stiff foot or a very flat foot, okay? You're gonna find this really hard as well. So for someone like me, who's got a really stiff midfoot at the front, I've got quite a flat arch through here, this is quite tricky. What I'm gonna try and do is make this arch higher by thinking about shortening my big toe to my heel. So I'm trying to use the muscles underneath the arch to lift up like that, okay? Now it's a subtle movement. You then let it relax and let it drop down, and then you try again. So think about lifting the arch and shortening and lifting through here. Have a zoom in on this. If you think of from here to here, Okay, I want to build it like a bridge and arch through there. So if I let it drop and flatten, I'm going to think about lifting it up through here. Even if you just think about just pulling up through here, but you're going to see if I can see, I'm trying to keep my big toe down and I'm not trying to scrunch here. What you don't want to do is two things. You don't want to roll your ankle out, which that raises your big toe. Okay, the other thing you don't want, don't want to do is scrunch your big toe like that. Okay, that's what we don't want to do either. We've got to try and keep this big toe down and then just think about if I just try to gently coax this up, shortening through here, and you'll feel a little bit of muscle work in there. Now for some people, it's a very small amount. Okay, for me, it's a very sort of small to moderate amount of lift I've got going on there. Some people are really high, other people hardly at all. But you've got to start somewhere, okay? And a lot of this is brain to foot. It'll frustrate the heck out of you. But if you can keep working on it just with no load, okay, just like that, every day trying to work on a little bit of a lift, go slow, don't go too quick to try and get some activation through here, get your brain on board, try and switch it on. Then what you can do is put a bit of load through it. So you do the same thing, but now fully weight bearing and try and let your arch collapse and then let it lift up. Okay, and down. You're gonna find that a lot harder. You, you'll find that you wanna scrunch your toes a little bit more. So make sure you start with non-weight bearing first. Once you've nailed that, then you progress to an arch lift off a step. So this is why I really use this box. Come close to something you can grab onto, okay, for your balance. I want you half on the box and half off. Okay, so the heel is right on the edge and my big toe is off the box. Come and have a look at this. Big toe is off the box, right? But the rest of my foot is on. Okay, so when you look down, the edge of the box is sort of there, okay? And the edge of the box is right there. What that'll let me do is drop below level and then be able to come up again, okay? So when I weight bear on this, I can then sort of let my foot crash inwards right into that E version or like a sort of pronation through here, and then I've got to try and lift back up to neutral. And when I do that, I'm lifting my arch, but I'm also using muscles down the inside and tendon through here, my tibialis posterior mostly, to help with that. Because people with plantar fascia problems, when they collapse, usually have a tibialis posterior issue as well. So this is not just think of strengthening the arch for your plantar fascia, this is also strengthening the movement of what happens when people then pronate too much, okay? Because if you're pronating too much, you're probably gonna cause your plantar fascia issues underneath. So you now what you're doing is working on the strengthening of the muscles on the inside that are probably weak and letting you pronate in the first place. So this is more of a strengthening and prevention now, all right? So make sure you're weight bearing, make sure you don't arch your foot into that position there. You are coming from crashed in pronation, lifting up to neutral by using your arch and then coming down 
And what you'll realize is you're strengthening up through your shin as well. Some people you'll get a little bit too overactive in your tibialis anterior and late raise your toe, so just keep that down. Lots of things to think about, okay? but pretty crucial that you get that coordination right, that technique right before you start doing too many reps and sets the wrong way. Very important one for you to work on. Once you've done those two, and they're the, sort of the hardest, the most boring ones, then you need to work on your calf because people with plantar fascia problems usually have calf weakness, calf tightness, usually old calf problems. You work on those, you'll actually strengthen up the foot as well. So I would put your shoe back on for this because then you can grip on to the step, okay? And that'll give you something to make this a whole lot easier. So what you do with the calf raise is this. Use your step, do it eccentrically, meaning two up, one down. So if I'm doing a calf raise from here, I'm going right on the edge of the step, okay? So if you imagine... This part of my foot here is on the edge. So the ball of my foot is on the edge, not just sort of the front of your toes, but the ball. Go right, right on the edge. I'm gonna go all the way down until I feel a bit of a calf stretch. I'm gonna push up all the way up as high as I can go. I'm gonna cross over and hold it there and then slowly lower that down, all the way down. Crucial that you don't grip with your toes. Okay, make sure that the weight when you come up is over that foot and your knee's dead straight. Now this is gonna use your gastroc and it's gonna use the strengthening underneath the foot. All right, so you're gonna use, you're gonna strengthen this part up, but the idea is you strengthen the calf because the calf is part of that plantar fascia issue. All right, strengthen the calf up, it's gonna make your plantar fascia stronger. Just make sure that when you come down, you watch my foot, you don't roll inwards. Okay, make sure you are up not totally out, but you just don't crack. When you come down, you come down straight in the middle. You don't roll your foot in, all right? That's quite an important one, okay? So that's your third one. Then you just need to work on some isometric work. What I suggest you do, don't worry about the box of that one. This is called a mountain climber. Now, for this one, you still need a pole or a wall or something to hold on to. That needs to be weight-bearing like that. What you do is you come right up onto your toes for your isometric. And then you stay there and lift your leg up and down. Now you might think this is easy, but you try and do 10 of these in a row and you'll find that you really start dropping down the arch. This is where the strength starts failing and you're going this way. What you've got to keep up is into full plantar flexion and stay there the whole way through with your knee straight. Okay? This is going to build up your resistance and resilience through here and down and through that arch. Okay? which just gives you that power to push off, okay? So really sort of high level strengthening one, but it's still isometric. So it's not too hard on the tissues, it's just the endurance part is the difficult part. So four great little exercises for you to work on. If you've had plantar fasciitis or you've got it currently, you're working on the rehab side of things, this will fill that gap up and improve your overall strengthening, especially if you've got the good shoes, maybe you've got orthotics, but you just need the strengthening part. And this stuff needs to be done now and then long term to make sure this stuff goes away and stays away. See you next time.